Hey everybody, it's May the 4th. Got my Darth Vader shirt on. May the 4th be with you. Happy Star Wars Day. Hey, let's make some lightsabers, okay? This is ridiculous, you don't have to do this. But I got some duct tape out and I had some time and I got excited and I made some duct tape lightsabers. They're pretty cool, but let's do something a little simpler than that, okay? Let's start by grabbing a paper towel roll or toilet paper roll or something like that and let's build a handle for our lightsaber. Okay, so this is not all that complicated. I'm using a paper towel roll, okay? Depending on the size that you want your lightsaber to end up being, you could use a little toilet paper roll, but paper towel roll is a good place to start because it's kind of big and it has that lightsaber size to it, okay? And then I'm gonna use some cardboard, okay? Some scrap cardboard. I bet you ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon or other line, online stores, so you got a bunch of cardboard boxes laying around in your recycling that you could use to start gluing some other pieces on and giving your tube some three-dimensional quality, okay? You're gonna find that for this project, you're probably gonna wanna use the hot glue gun, okay? So, uh, so that's gonna help the cardboard stick together a little bit better, okay? So, um, when you use the hot glue gun, okay, it's easier to just put a little bit of glue on, okay? And then let those areas fold up and dry a little bit. You gotta be patient with it a little bit in order to get everything to work. If you're not gonna be patient, okay, then the other thing to do is have some masking tape with you and when you start gluing things down, if you don't want to wait for everything to dry, well, there it goes on the hot glue side of things, then take a little bit of masking tape and tape those things into place while you wait for it to dry, okay? So that's the simplest way to start gluing things down. If you really want things to be strong, then you can do kind of like a welding type of move with your hot glue gun. You can take the glue and you can work along these edges here and weld everything into place, okay? And it'll be much stronger and hold up pretty well. You can build quite a lot of cool stuff out of cardboard and hot glue if you have the time and the inclination to do that. So once you've let that, then I remove the tape and maybe you want to work a little bit more into this spot here. And just using the masking tape to help everything hold together while the glue dries is a good little trick to do, okay? So it's really up to you. What do you want to add? How do you want to add details to it, okay? You can get the duct tape out like I did and start adding all those things to it. Um, and Or you can stick with something that's totally cardboard and have just a monochrome cardboard three-dimensional lightsaber where you cut out all these different shapes and things and put those onto there, okay? And create a pretty cool effect. It's not too hard to cut cardboard with the scissors if you have a good strong scissors and building something out of cardboard is kind of fun. It's a bit trial and error, okay? But you can end up with some kind of cool effects and I think building a totally brown cardboard lightsaber would actually be pretty cool, okay? It won't look like a movie prop or anything like that, but it would be a cool way to create that lightsaber, okay? And have everything be just brown cardboard. So I don't know, try it out. I may work on this for a little bit and show it off later on. You could always just grab paper too and start gluing paper down and then have different kinds of details cut out of the paper and glued on. That's all up to you, okay? 
how are you going to spend some time to build this lightsaber design out of cardboard, okay? Leave the bottom open if you want to use my way of actually making a glowing blade. And I'll show you that here in just a moment, how to do that. So let me put a few more things onto my basic lightsaber handle, and then we'll talk about putting the blade together. All right, cool. So I'm getting far, far into this already. Too far into this, okay. So you know that you could just keep going on this. I would like to see, I'm, I'm assuming somebody has done this somewhere out in the world already, but man, would it be cool to like make cardboard replicas and try to really like push this and make them look as close to the movie sabers as you could just using cardboard um, just having it be brown. So I don't know if nobody's done that, maybe I need to get to work. Okay. And if somebody sees this and does it, that'd be cool. All right. So let's see what happens. So we've got this basic, um, uh, lightsaber handle going on here, but how do we make a blade? Okay. So some of you have been, and you've seen me use this little method here. So I'm going to use a lighting tube that you can get at Home Depot, and I'm gonna use a little LED flashlight that you can also get there. Sometimes it's good if you're gonna do a whole bunch of these to buy one first and make sure they actually fit into the tube, but I'm gonna show you what I, what I have and what I'm gonna use. So this light's usually about a dollar, and then these tubes are usually somewhere between five and six dollars. And depending on if you want it to be a short saber like this one or a long full size saber, you might cut the tubes in half. Okay, so what you wanna get is a tube guard for fluorescent lights, okay? This is a four foot one. Um, and the size that we're using is for T8 fluorescent bulbs. This is the thinner one, okay? So this is the four foot length right here. There we go, okay? And if you cut this in half, which you can just cut it easily with the scissors, okay? You can cut it into two two foot sections and then you can make two sabers. And they're small, okay? But they work, okay? And they're not true battle sabers. If you continue to beat on each other with these, the tubes will eventually start to flex and crack and break. Um, and then you'll just have to go replace them and build them again. But you can kind of whack them together and they're sort of fun like that. Um, but they're not gonna stand up to heavy use or anything like that. So let's see how we can get these to light up and then we will go from there, okay? So the clear tube will not, uh, refract the light or disperse the light very well. So the, the simplest way to do this is to take some saran wrap and cover the tube with that and then cover it with some packing tape. So I'll show you how to do that and then we can put this lightsaber together. All right, so in order to get the light to diffuse easier, we're going to cover the tube with saran wrap. So. The simplest thing to do is just to start at one end of the tube and start pulling the saran wrap out and then rolling it onto the tube, okay? If you pull it out a little bit at a time and pull it over to the side, okay, then that works pretty good. So I'll pull it out here and then I'll pull it to the side a little bit and we'll go down along there. I know this is a little tricky to see on the document camera but you get the idea. And what I do is I just want to cover this with the saran wrap, okay? And you can trial and error it a little bit, but I found that like three passes makes a good diffuse light, okay? One pass is not going to work quite as well, okay? So I'm at this end, and now I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna go back the other way, okay? So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more, and go back the other way. 
two passes might be okay. It depends on how thick you're getting the saran wrap onto your lightsaber blade, okay? We're gonna roll that along, okay? And just pull that and keep rolling it on there and smooth it into place, okay? The end that's gonna be covered by the handle, okay, you may not need to have as much saran wrap on, but definitely as you're finishing off the tube, okay, go off of the very end of the tube with the saran wrap so that you know you have enough there, okay? And if you have one of these cool cutters, okay, makes life a little bit easier, okay? So we've got that there, and we're going to finish wrapping that tube off of there, okay? So now we have this tube, and it's going to diffuse the light and be a little bit more opaque when it creates the light for the lightsaber, okay? So now we need some packing tape, and we're going to cover this so the saran wrap doesn't keep coming off all of the time. All right, cool. So I've got some clear packing tape here and I've got a Sharpie. And what I like to do is mark it into four quarters. So that's like one and then I'll turn it, two, turn it, three, turn it, four. Sometimes it's hard to tell if you've covered the entire thing with packing tape. You can usually get there with one, um, three passes, but doing four makes sure everything has a chance to overlap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the packing tape and I'm gonna stretch it all the way along the lightsaber, okay? So what I tend to do is start by attaching the packing tape to the top part and then just stretching it down the length of the saber blade, okay, a little bit at a time. And that helps to keep it straight, okay? So I pull down there, okay? People are sleeping at my house right now, otherwise I could just pull it, but it'd make a huge loud noise, okay? And we're trying not to wake everybody up. So snip that part there, pull that off, and then smooth that into place all the way down the length of your lightsaber blade, okay? Then rotate it, okay? So that was one, rotate it a quarter turn, and then do the same thing. Reach all the way down there and bring the tape all the way back and tape it, rotate it a quarter turn, do three and four, okay? So I'm going to do all four sides so I have tape covering all of that and sealing the saran wrap, sealing the plastic wrap on to the blade. All right, so I've got all of it covered now all the way to the end. Sometimes you want to finish off the top of the blade, the tip, okay, by putting a little piece of tape over the top of it and folding that down over the edges and then maybe putting another piece around it okay that way but that just finishes off the top so you've got your whole blade now covered with the tape okay so there we go nice all right <clears throat> now the little flashlight okay has um, LED in it, okay? Usually runs on three batteries. If you want it to be white, you're good. You don't have anything to do. If you can find some clear uh, plastic, some clear cellophane, or some clear acrylic, um, we find ours sometimes at Hobby Lobby in the model car section, and there's some plastic that has like red yellow and blue and green and you can hole punch out if you have one of those little hole punchers or just cut out a little circle and you can kind of stuff it down into 
behind the uh, rim of the flashlight and then it will give you a color. I don't know how well that's gonna show up on my screen. I have yellow in there right now to make it a yellow blade, um, but you can do blue or green. Um, getting an actual red with that cellophane is actually pretty hard, but I'm sure other people would like to, you know, work on getting different colored LEDs and everything, but this flashlight is a dollar, okay? And for what we're doing, this doesn't cost very much. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do then is we're going to place that flashlight into the edge of the lightsaber and then we'll light it up, okay? And I'll show you what that looks like. We'll have to turn the lights off here in a second, okay? Once we've got that into place, then you can just slide that in there. Now, it's probably not gonna fit very securely, so there's one other thing to do to make sure that everything doesn't move around. And remember, you're gonna have to work this a little bit on your own to make it work for you, depending on how much you actually wanna battle with these sabers or whether you just wanna hold them and make them and just have them look cool. All right, so here's the next part to make everything fit together. Okay, so the simplest way to get it all to fit together to get the diameter of your saber blade to be a little bit thicker is to just take a piece of cardboard and wrap it around, okay? And you can cut off as much as you need to, but if you wrap that bit of cardboard around there, and then hopefully you can slide it into place there and then that will make everything fit a little bit better. You can have a larger piece of cardboard too, okay, depending on how far you want that to go. Now, if you leave the bottom of the saber open, okay, you can slide all the way through to there and then you can get the button there, okay? And that way you can turn the saber on and off with the button, okay? You can close it up a little bit like I did on this one and so that it actually won't like fall through the bottom of the saber, but just leave some kind of a hole cut there so that you can reach to your um, button and turn things on and off. But hey, I don't know. This is pretty cool. All right, let's see what it looks like. Okay, here we are. They'll work a lot better in the dark. Check this out. Here's my lightsaber. You can kind of see it. Let's turn it on. Nice. Okay, that looks amazing. Okay, I think it does anyway. I hope you think it looks cool too. I hope this was kind of fun for you. If you make one, send me some pictures. All right, because this would be pretty cool. All right, may the force be with you.